Hey, what's up guys on YouTube? This is 3D Bonfire back with an amazing tutorial. And I just wanted to take the chance to give you a little sneak peek about my newest tutorial for Patreon. So I just recorded 40 minutes how to build a shelf. Yes, there is a lot to talk about, but I think I just want to give you a really short version for YouTube. So how to build a shelf like it's not the best one because we only take like five minutes, hopefully. But I just want to also show you how you can do it. But of course, to get the full package, please check my interior lighting and modeling course on Patreon. You know, it's uh, great stuff. But now let's get started on YouTube. All right. So you can see this is what we built on Patreon. But for now, let's start in a new scene here on YouTube. YouTube and let's get started. All right, I just pick a cube. Maybe don't know if this was the right object, but let's just pretend. So we have like a wooden plank here and then we have some metal framing, which will hold these ones. So let's just say this one is four thick or let's just say 2.5. Maybe that seems to be a good value. Let's just fill it it and let's just say something like 0 0.5 maybe. OK, so this will catch up a beautiful highlight on the edge. That seems to be perfect. All right, so now let me think about how to do it. We could go here for a plane, for example. Let's rotate this one. Let's just put this one to 90. And you know what? I just turned this one instantly into an object. And now just grab the edge here, put it over there. For example, put one over here. Let's get this one there. And let's say this is the height of our beautiful shelf. Select these two edges, then go to MF. Where is it? The edge cut and let's just cut it. Now you have one subdivision, but I think we want to have maybe three subdivisions. That seems to be a good value. Now I just select the polygons, hold down I for inner extrude. And now I just inner extrude this one. All right, that seems to be good. Let's just say something like that. Okay, that is cool. And let's just select these lines. So sorry, I just go through them. Then I hold down STRG, get rid of the other ones. Now I hold down M, S to just slightly bevel these ones. Okay, just give it a nice thickness. That seems to be a good value. Now I just select these ones and kill them. All right, that's cool. Now I would say we just go to poly mode, hold down D and just give it some thickness. Be sure to create caps, otherwise it will be open here. So just make something like that. Wow, that is so beautiful. Let's go to mesh, axis, axis center, axis to all points. That's better. Now we can better position this one. And I think I just want to put it here. Just want to put this one to the bottom of it. That is nice. Now I just select this one, hold down Alt and just create a cloner. That is nice. Set this one to end position and put this one to a nice end position like this one maybe. All right. Do we want to have four of them? I guess we want to have four of them. That is so lovely. Let's select the cube, hold down Alt and create a cloner. Also set this one to endpoint. Let's go up to the endpoint. Let's just check that this one is even. Let's put it to now oh, that's that's reasonably precise. OK, that's nice. And let's put this one to five. And voila, there is your beautiful shelf. Of course, on Patreon, as I said, I will show you more of this modeling technique and we will build a way more beautiful shelf. But hey, there you go. So see you in the next training. Thanks for listening. Bye, guys.